Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to the Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 13. And I need to begin with an apology to Ms. Miller for misspelling her first name on the title cards for the first 12 weeks of the challenge. Um, I have been spelling it apparently the French way, and I've just discovered she spells it G-A-R, not G-U-R. G-E-U-R. Um, I had and would, would have been a great aunt had she lived with the name of Marguerite. Um, she died at nine months old because of bronchial pneumonia back in 1913. So needless to say, I never met her. Um, but in my head, that's the way you spelled Marguerite. And it is not, at least not for Margaret Miller, Marguerite Miller. So I apologize. I will get it right for the rest of the year. So for week 13, we need a stirring tool. I have a spoon here in a cake batter, a dictionary page. I have several pieces of the dictionary page specifically chosen, and I'll tell you why in a minute. A line of poetry. I have that, but I'm going to show it to you in a minute. A label. A a path or a road, which is this picture right here, and the bonus circles. And I have several circles there, uh, including one that does not belong. So we'll just take that one out. So let me tell you kind of what I'm planning here, because I already have an idea in my head. Um, when I saw a line of poetry, there are several poems that I absolutely love. Uh, but then a path or a road, of course, leads you to the road not taken. But I didn't want the most famous words, you know, and I, you know, the last two lines for, have made all the difference to me and all of that. Um, because I have this picture here in the middle. This is my background and I've already glued it down to the page. So that part's already done. This is the road to my cabin. We have a cabin in the woods outside Prattsburg, New York. Technically, I suppose we're part of the Bristol Hills. Um, we're the northernmost of the Alleghenies, kind of the northernmost tip. So it's definitely a hill, not a mountain. Um, I think the top elevation is 2,000 feet. Uh, and we're, our cabin's at about, I don't know, 1,800. Anyway, this is the, the infall, the road that leads to it, which means I really wanted the first stanza from the poem. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Yellow wood. And sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. It fits this perfectly. So I chose the road not taken just that first stanza. My dictionary page, I also chose on purpose. I chose the, the definition for the word road. So there's the definition for road as a noun, as um, road, a verb, roaded, roading, to supply with a road to track on foot, a road agent, a road bed, a road book, which is a guidebook. And a guidebook our maps. So for the circles, I have mapped, I, I had done these actually a long time ago. They are circles that I took out of an old map. I had made some of these for just for general use. As far as the label goes, I chose this one because it's like a conveyance. It's an advertisement for teas, but I liked it because it looked like it was a carriage. So I think that would be going down the road. All right, so now we just have to figure out where to put things. What I think I am going to choose not to do, I have the picture for the stirring tool, but it doesn't fit with the general theme of the entire piece. So I think I am not going to put it there. I think I might, and I'm, I've been thinking about how I want the eye to travel. And when you first look at this, I want it, I want you to look at the road. And then I want you to eventually end up, I don't take that off the page for the moment. I want you to eventually end up down here at the poem. I have it in, in my head how I want the eye to travel. I want the eye to hit here first, 
travel around the page, get to the poem, and then go back to the wood. That's my theory. So I think I want to put the road definition up here. Not exactly sure how I want to put that in there. And I think, hang on, I'm going to take that extra little bit off of there. That extra little bit of white. Let's take that off. So I actually have a plan of action that I don't always have. Okay, there we go. I kind of like that. I like, I separated those so I'd have some room to play. We could put the teas and the groceries as if they're going down, but then I have all of these map pieces. Now I can, I what I've done with uh, this, and I did around the outside here, and of course I have done that a little bit, um, is kind of darkened them up a little bit. So they're not quite so white. I didn't really want a lot of white. So I can darken these up as well. This is the Susquehanna River, which is appropriate. That's where my, my dad grew up in a town off the Susquehanna. Put it so that it's right side up. Um, yeah. So this is really the first time I've tried to play with theme. And using her prompts, I'm coming up with a theme. And the theme is travel. I don't know if this is going to work, so we'll take a look at it once I get everything on here and see if it works or not. Hang on. I need a new thing. My bit's starting to disintegrate on me. Okay. So if I slide that down there, I'll just kind of poke it at the corner. And I am, I'm just, I'm, choosing not to put a stirring tool on here. Does that lead that down to there? I think it does. Let's go ahead and set things down. If you are doing the Marguerite Miller challenge, um, I have mentioned this in the in some of the other videos, please leave a comment down below or let me know in some way so that I can go take a look at what you're doing as well. It's really cool to see what other people come up with. I do watch a couple of other videos throughout the week. Um, not so much to get ideas, but just to see what they're doing because I have a tendency to actually make my decisions and film at, before Saturday. I, I This posts on Saturday, but I film whenever I get a chance throughout the week. So I get to see what other people have done. I liked the, the how that says, and look down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Because the tree, this, this lane does have a bend to it. It's a beautiful approach to the cabin. I have to admit, I, especially in the fall when the leaves have changed, it is pretty spectacular. And I want to make sure I leave as much of that picture showing as I can. Because I want that to be the focal point. I want that to be where the eye looks first. I don't know if the eye is actually going to do what I think it will, but I'm hoping it does. If, if you are 
watching this, please comment and tell me if your eye went in that path or if you went in a different direction. So that I can, that's how I learn. I'm not going to learn if you, if everybody just says, oh, that's beautiful and doesn't give me any good feedback. Tell me what I need to learn. That was actually the bottom of one part and the top of the other page. Okay, I think I want to put, yeah, this one down first. There we go. And then I think I'm going to put Dauphin down next. Because the blue is a little bit brighter and I think it calls the eye a little bit more. And then the Susquehanna so that it brings the eye the curve of the river maybe brings the eye down. I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along. Trying to learn color theory, which I'm not doing really well at. And trying to learn composition, which is what my attempt this week is for this challenge. There. Twenty twenty four CW thirteen Creative Week thirteen Marguerite Miller Challenge. Get it all the way in focus. Done. Okay, give me some feedback. Till later. This is Cindy signing off. <laughs>